Welcome to the instructional video for GF Central Plastics MSA340 Electrofusion Processor. This video will address the MSA340's use while operating in the most basic settings of its three primary modes of operation. The CP Automatic Mode, the Barcode Mode, and the Barcode Manual Mode. This video will not address embedded options such as changing languages, modification of GPS antenna settings, invoking the operator ID, job number prompt, capturing the fitting and pipe traceability codes F2897, upload of new software updates, or downloading the fusion records stored on the processor. Even though all of these options are possible, we'll address them in other videos. The first step is getting power to the processor. Start the inverter or generator and make sure it's running at full throttle. Next, plug the processor into the power source and rotate the large red button in the upper right corner of the processor. This will power up the processor. The first screen will identify the processor model, the serial number, the software version that's currently installed on this machine, and the date when the processor's calibration date will expire. The next screen will advance automatically to the Connect Fitting screen. This screen prompts the operator to connect the processor leads to the fitting being fused. This assumes the EF fitting and PE pipe has already been properly prepared for fusion. That means cleaned, marked, peeled, clamped, etc. In addition, this screen reflects the ohms prior to connecting to the fitting, the voltage being produced by the power source, the ambient temperature near the lead ends, Hertz cycles being delivered from the power source, current date, and time. This symbol appears when the geo positioning signal on the processor can identify the longitude and latitude of the processor's location. It's now time to choose a mode of operation. Note that the fitting below has a solid brass pin on the left and a resistored pin on the right. This fitting can be fused in automatic mode, the automatic barcode mode, or the manual barcode mode. We'll address each mode individually. In the automatic mode, always connect the red lead to the resistored side of the fitting and the white lead to the solid pin. If the fitting does not contain a resistor pin, the CP mode of fusion is not available. Once both leads are connected, press the green Start OK button. On the Fusion Data screen, you can view the ohms value as well as the sequential fusion number that is associated with each fitting fused on the machine between downloads. Press the green Start OK button and you'll see the Start Fusion screen. This screen includes the fusion number, the CP mode indicating that this fusion is being done in the GF Central Plastics automatic mode, the fusion time, the voltage being supplied to the fitting, and the date and time indicator. Before proceeding, the operator must confirm that the fusion time shown by the processor agrees with the fusion time on the fittings label. If it does, the processor is ready and will begin the fusion process by pressing the green Start OK button. If it does not agree, the fusion can be aborted by pressing the small red Stop Escape button. The next screen is a reminder prompt. It's intended to remind the operator of the most basic fitting to pipe preparation procedures. The pipe ends prepared prompt asks the operator to confirm the peel, clean, and align steps have been observed. If so, press the green Start OK button to advance to the next screen. The fusion in progress reflects the voltage from the power source, the fusion time of the fitting as it counts down to completion, the amp draw from the fitting, and the date and time. The countdown timer will begin to beep once per second when the processor has four seconds remaining. This will continue until the fusion is complete and the Fusion Done screen appears. The cooling interval screen will appear and then alternate back and forth between the fusion done and the cooling interval screens until the processor is powered down and the next fusion is initiated. The cooling interval screen only refers to the time required before the clamp can be removed. 
It's important to note that the cooling time in clamp is only one of the three required cooling times. The cooling times for each electrofusion fitting are as follows. The cooling time required in clamp, the cooling time required before tapping, and the cooling time required before rough handling. Be sure to check the fitting manufacturer's specifications for cooling requirements. If the processor remains inactive, then it will count down the cooling time. If the processor is powered off or a new fusion is initiated, the cooling countdown will end and the fusion is recorded in the processor memory. Many companies direct their operators to use a permanent marker to write their name or initials, the fusion end time, the clamp removal time, and the expiration of the waiting time for rough handling on the pipe next to the fusion. This helps the operator recall these critical time components and reduces the likelihood that the clamp will be removed or the rough handling will occur too soon. Congratulations! You've just completed a fusion in the CP automatic mode. Due to the added information in the available barcode mode, some customers require their operators to use this mode exclusively when electrofusing. To avoid the CP mode, connect the white lead to the pin with the resistor and the red lead to the solid pin side of the fitting. If there are no resistor pins, the lead can be installed on either pin. When leads are connected, press the green Start OK button to continue. The MSA's imager will reflect a red line when the operator presses the imager's trigger. This line helps the operator locate the barcode on the label. When the red line hits the barcode, a green dot will briefly replace the red line and an audible beep will be emitted from the processor and imager. Most fittings today will include both the 24-digit Fusion barcode and one or more forms of the 16-digit ASTM F2897 traceability barcode. If the imager contacts the traceability barcode, it's possible to obtain the green dot and audible sound, but the fusion parameters will not be reflected by the processor. No harm is done if this happens. Simply read the correct barcode and the 24 digits will fill in as seen here. Press the green button and the Start Fusion screen will appear. Note the difference between the information captured in the barcode mode as compared to that of the CP mode. The barcode reflects the fitting manufacturer, the fitting type, the diameter of the base and outlet, fusion time, volts to the fitting, date and time, escape, and OK. The following takes will address temperature compensation. Not all fittings require temperature compensation, but all barcodes contain two characters that will define whether the feature is used or not. Let the control box acclimate to the job site weather conditions for a minimum period of 15 minutes. This will ensure that it will accurately measure the ambient temperature before beginning the fusion process. Press the green Start OK button to proceed to the next screen. The pipe end's prepared prompt will be reflected on the screen just as we saw in the CP mode. If the fitting assembly is ready to fuse, press the green Start OK button. The fusion in progress will count down the fusion process just as we witnessed when operating in the CP mode. Once the current input segment is complete, the screen will advance to the Fusion Done screen. The cooling interval screen will appear and then alternate back and forth between the fusion done and cooling interval screens. Please review the information on the cooling process that's detailed more completely in the CP mode segment of this video. Congratulations, you've completed the barcode automatic mode orientation. There may be occasions when the barcode imager is broken or the fittings fusion barcode is too damaged to read. In either of these cases, the barcode manual mode can be a very useful option. Press the green Start OK button to advance to the next screen. Note the 24 digits listed under this barcode label. This is a digital representation of the barcode. When these numbers are properly entered manually, the processor will accept this code and produce a fusion record containing all the detail you would obtain in a barcode automatic mode. 
Numbers are entered using the arrows on the keypad. The up arrow pressed once will produce a zero. Pushed a second time while on the same digit will produce a one. Subsequent presses will count through the remaining digits to nine, then repeat starting with zero. Pressing the down key on an empty blank will produce a zero and subsequent presses with countdown from nine to one, then repeat with the zero. Once the right number is in the correct digit, advance to the next blank digit to the right by pressing the right arrow. Continue this process until all 24 digits are completed. The operator of the machine needs to visually verify that the numbers of the barcode are correctly reflected on the screen. To change any numbers that don't match, simply repeatedly press the left arrow until the incorrect digit is underscored and replace it. Once the numbers are confirmed correct, press the green button. At this point, you'll see a new screen. The Operation Done prompt indicates agreement between the fitting's barcode and digits entered. If the numbers are entered incorrectly, the Operation Aborted prompt will appear. This will require the operator to re-enter all 24 digits. Once the 24 digits are entered, press the green Start OK button to continue. Note the difference between the information captured in the barcode mode as compared to that of the CP mode. The barcode reflects the fitting manufacturer, the fitting type, the diameter of the base and outlet, fusion time, volts to the fitting, date and time, escape, and OK. The following takes will address temperature compensation. Not all fittings require temperature compensation, but all barcodes contain two characters that define whether the feature is used or not. Let the control box acclimate to the job site weather conditions for a minimum of 15 minutes. This will ensure that it will accurately measure the ambient temperature before beginning the fusion process. Press the green Start OK button to proceed to the next screen. The pipe ends prepared prompt will be reflected on the screen just as we saw on the CP mode. If the fitting assembly is ready to fuse, press the green Start OK button. The Fusion in Progress screen will count down the progress just as we witnessed in the CP mode. Once the current input screen is complete, the screen will advance to the Fusion Done screen. The Cooling Interval screen will appear and then alternate back and forth between the Fusion Done and Cooling Interval screens. Please review the information on the cooling process that's detailed more completely in the CP mode of this segment. Congratulations! You've completed the barcode manual mode orientation.